In the case of erbium doped fiber amplifier, the amplification takes place in a piece of optical fiber that is doped with the erbium. And the signal that is to be amplified, it is input here uh, into this optical fiber cable and the pump laser is input here into this optical fiber cable piece. And this pump laser is produced using the light emitting diode and this pump laser can have a wavelength of either 980 nanometer or 1480 nanometer. Here it is important to mention this thing that the energy of the pump laser depends upon is its wavelength. The 980 nanometer pump laser has more energy as compared to the 1480 nanometer pump laser. And then using the coupler, this pump laser is input to the optical fiber cable and then this pump laser passes through the piece of the optical fiber that is doped with RPM. Now the question arises that how the amplification takes place. In order to understand that first we need to see the structure of the RBM atom. In the case of RBM atom we have the nucleus and then around the nucleus we have different orbits in which electrons are moving. Now the first orbit is called as the L1 state and we call it as the ground state. Here we have the electrons that have the lowest energy and then you have the L2 orbit uh, and then you have the L3 orbit which are shown here as L2 and L3 orbits respectively. Now as the pump laser passes through the erbium atoms it is absorbed by the erbium atoms and the erbium atoms are excited. Now the 980 nanometer pump laser has more energy so when it is absorbed by these electrons these electrons get excited and they move to the L3 state. While if we are using the 1480 nanometer laser then in that case when this laser is absorbed by the electrons they get excited but since this laser has less energy so they move to the L2 state. Now once the majority of electrons have moved to either L2 state or the L3 state then in that case we can say that the population inversion has been achieved. Now the L3 state is not a stable state so the electrons would move from the L3 state to the L2 state. However, since these states are very close to one another, uh, when these electrons move from the L3 state to the L2 state, they would not emit any light. So this transition from L3 state to the L2 state is called as the non-emitting relaxation. Now when the majority of the electrons are in the L2 state and there is an incoming light signal and this is the signal that we want to amplify and for example it has the wavelength of the 1550 nanometer. Now we know that the light travels as photons so that means that this incoming light signal is actually a photon. And this photon has this wavelength. Now when this photon strikes with these electrons that are in L2 state, these electrons get stimulated. And as a result of this stimulation, these electrons move from the L2 state to the L1 state. Now we know that in the L2 state, these electrons have higher energy and in the L1 state, they have lower energy. So when an electron moves from the L2 state and goes to the L1 state, so the energy difference between these two levels, it is released as photon. So there is a photon release and this photon has also the wavelength of 1550 nanometer. When this electron moves to the L1 state, another photon is released and it has also 
the wavelength of 1550 nanometer and then the third photon is released and then the fourth photon is released when this electron moves to the L1 state. So as a result this incoming signal that was one photon it is now amplified because there are more number of photons due to this stimulation of electrons by the incoming signal and as a result the input signal gets amplified and uh, one important thing to mention is that as a result of this stimulation the photons that are produced they are coherent that means that they have the same wavelength or same frequency and they have the same phase with one another now this erbium doped fiber amplifier is very good for the amplification in the range of 15 nanometer to 1570 nanometer wavelengths. So that means that whenever we have an input uh, signal that lies in this range, it can be very well amplified using the erbium doped fiber amplifier. However, the gain is not constant in this wavelength range. It is more in this range towards the 15 30 nanometer, but it is less in this range.